Okay, and a way to look at that is recall the side splitter theorem. Remember, the great thing about geometry construction is, well, great thing for us is that it's a it's a nice way to use some creativity and to recall theorems and concepts that you've learned throughout the course. So remember this one. It's called the side splitter theorem, and what it is is if you have a triangle and it's cut by a parallel line, these lengths have a similar ratio. Okay, so let's keep that in mind because what we're going to do is we're going to cut a line segment into three parts. Okay, and so what we need to consider is since we want three congruent parts, actually let's let's diagram our strategy. If we could construct basically Here's our triangle. Let's say that these, these segments are congruent. Then you could argue that these also must be congruent because the ratio from here to here, here to here, and here to here are all the same. So what we want to do is we want to take a line segment and cut it into three congruent parts, basically trisect it. And again, what we want to do is we want to you know, consider our strategy with the side splitter theorem. And basically what we're going to do is if we have our line here, if we can somehow have a, another line, another side with three congruent parts, and if we were to somehow extend parallel lines in such a way like that, then according to the side splitter theorem, the ratio of this to this, this to this, and this to this will be the same. So that's what we're going to do with this line segment down here. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to extend a random line, a long distance like that, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this one into three congruent parts, okay? So the first part is here, second part is here, the third part is here, okay? Now remember, these are congruent, but, but our, our goal is to make this one have three congruent parts. So how do we do that? Well, again, looking at our strategy example up here, we need to draw parallel lines this way uh, and form basically a triangle with parallel lines cutting it into three parts. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the top of this segment and draw a line to our given segment, like so. Okay, and then basically what I'm doing is I'm kind of turning this over. And what we're going to do now is we're going to construct parallel lines across, like this. Okay, and so let's go ahead and do that. And basically what we do is, as you were calling earlier in the videos, how do you draw parallel lines? Well, you take an arc like this, okay, and go like that, okay, and then Basically, we're going to draw another one from this one, like so, and then another one from this one, like so. Okay, and then basically find the distance from this one, like this. Oops. The distance from this one, like this. The distance from that one, like this. Okay. And then what we basically do is, again, we draw a line from here through this, like so, and a line from here through this one, like so, okay? And what we've done is we've constructed these three lines are parallel from our extended line. And what they've done is they've, they've cut our given line, this one, one, two, three, into three congruent parts. So let's draw one more and review some of the concepts. Uh, let's draw, we're going to draw a line segment, this time in dark black so you can see it. And again, what we want to do is we want to cut this into three congruent segments. So the first thing we're going to do is extend another line. Let's do it from this side this time. 
Here's our kind of an auxiliary line, so to speak. And we're going to take that line and we're going to cut it into three congruent parts. Here's one. And then here's two. And here's three. Okay, and again, back to our strategy. What we want to do is we're going to extend a line such like this, light. Okay. And if we can draw parallel lines across like this, we would be basically transforming, tr transferring this separation onto this segment. So what we need to do is we want to draw three, two parallel lines like that. Okay, and as you recall, drawing parallel lines, what we do is we take, we want to draw parallels, we want to draw them across like this, do a little sketch like that. Okay, and again, to draw parallel lines, what you do is you pick a length like this and draw an arc like that. Okay, and then we'll do it from this one as well. Like that. Okay. And then we'll do one more from this point. Like that. Okay. And then what you do is you start, since you have these arcs like this, what you want to do now is you want to construct a segment. Let's see. Basically, we want parallel lines. What we need to do is we need to have the same arc length. Okay, so what we did is we measured this to here. Okay, like that. Okay, so we have this measurement, like that. And of course, we do that for the other ones, like this. So, and like that. Okay, and so what you can see is this arc and this arc and this arc are all the same length. Therefore, these corresponding angles are the same. Therefore, all we have to do is finish by connecting lines like this. Let's do this like so. There's one. And then again, here's the intersection of this arc. Like this. Okay. And basically what we've drawn is we've drawn, again, let's note, this arc length is the same, therefore this angle. This arc length is the same, and this angle. And this arc length is the same, and this angle. Therefore, parallel lines cut by a transversal. Anyway, so going back to our whole point, these three lines are parallel. And these three sections are congruent. Therefore, side splitter theorem, this is congruent to this, is congruent to that. Okay?